Welcome to the First Aid Show. I recently received an email from somebody who asked about what treatment we need to do for somebody who's suffering from alcohol poisoning. Having an alcoholic drink in itself is not usually a problem, but when taken in excess, it can lead to alcohol poisoning. Alcohol has a chemical name of ethanol, which is a drug that depresses the activity of the central nervous system, and in particular, the brain. Alcohol comes in many forms and strengths, from beers or wines to spirits or medical alcohol. As someone drinks, the effects start to take effect in the person and can cause personality changes, dizziness, nausea, vomiting and tiredness. An excessive or prolonged consumption can severely impair all physical and mental functions and the person may sink into deep unconsciousness which can be difficult to wake them from. This is where it's getting a serious problem, as in certain circumstances, it can lead to death. Risks from alcohol poisoning include, an unconscious casualty risks inhaling and choking on vomit. Alcohol widens or dilates the blood vessels. This means that the person loses heat and hypothermia may develop. And a casualty who smells of alcohol may be misdiagnosed and not receive the appropriate treatment for an underlying cause of unconsciousness such as head injury, stroke or heart attack. When you try to talk to them, they may not respond. They may look flushed and their breathing may be deep and noisy. If you can check their pulse, it may be full and bounding and it may be very difficult to wake or get any response from. As time passes, their breathing will become shallow and the pulse becomes weak and rapid. Their pupils will become dilated and not react very well to light. If you suspect alcohol poisoning, try and put them in the recovery position and keep their airway open to allow the vomit to pass out without causing choking. Get emergency medical help and contact the police in cases where the person is, or people around them could become violent. Try and keep them warm by placing a coat or a blanket over them and monitor their vital signs to ensure that they do not stop breathing. If this did happen, you'd have to start CPR. Do not induce vomiting, but if they are sick, ensure that you avoid coming into contact with their vomit and turn them onto their side to ensure that it does not block their airway.